You all look like you're still drinking your Christmas wine. Pivot. <laughs> Get that one out of your mouth. It's time, it's time to worship God. Hallelujah. And uh, as Rajim was saying, it's time to focus. You see, take your batreko. You have uh, your torch and the lights are all scattered. It doesn't give you any help. You have to. So it can be focused. And it is time for us to focus our heart and mind for the new, for the new year. And uh, as Rajin was saying there, it is, if you seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness. Then all these other things will be get on to us. If, if your mind is scattered in different directions, your heart, your energy, you, know, you, you will achieve nothing. You have scattered. But it's time to be focused. And focus your mind. Focus your heart. Put first things first. Try to know what is the most important thing in my life. What is that one thing that this year, if nothing, if I didn't achieve nothing, but if I can get this this year, that would be wonderful. So fine-tune your mind. In your heart. Find that very important thing. And set your focus on it. And concentrate on it. And you'll be amazed. How the year is going to be wonderful. Because you are focused. First things first. Then everything else can fall in line. Hallelujah. If you can put that first thing first. Everything else will just fall in line. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will fall in line. This is not a year again to be scattered here and there. Chasing the shadow here and chasing it. Right now, get focused. And concentrate your energy in the most important thing. And every other thing will be added unto you. Father, we love you and bless you. Father, we bow before you in this place, in this pulpit. We dedicate this altar to you again in 2020. The altar, Father. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We adore and magnify thee. Let it be sanctified by the blood of Jesus. And every word coming from here and every ministry coming from here in 2020, bring life and victory and blessings. Uh, through this altar this year, Father, you do wonders. You touch the nations of the world and touch lives and cities and destinies that the name of the Lord might be magnified. We bless you, Father. We exalt you. You only we love, you only we trust, you only we believe in. Jesus Christ is Lord over this place and over this congregation and all that watch online in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. If you still have leftover food, I'd like to visit your home. I don't know, you Ruski have their own valor when. So when do they have their new year then? So if I knock on your door on the 14th, you give me something there. 
<laughs> koje će oslavujem. <laughs> ok, I'm going to pay you a visit. Uh, anyway, last, um, last Sunday, I really wanted to be here last Sunday. Wanted to fly on Saturday night and, and get here on Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning or 9 or something like that. But they have some bushfires around the airport areas. So the planes couldn't land. And so we could not fly. But truly speaking, I really had in mind to fly out on Sunday. You know. <laughs> but I told the change, they say oh, there's no, it's not possible, there's no seat in the plane. So. But finally, I flew on Sunday. You better be careful this year. God will give, give you the desires of your heart. <laughs> so you better desire good things. <laughs> Hallelujah. This year, God will answer prayer. I didn't even voice out. Just think it. Just desire it. And, and you'll be surprised that God will give you exactly that. I really desire to live, fly out on Sunday night. But they said there was no seat on Sunday. It's completely full. But God did it. Well, with the bushfire, you know. <laughs> I didn't set it on fire. And that is it. <laughs> And it was a beautiful one more day, you know. <laughs> and, you know, when we were going home, I asked the Lord, I really want somebody in this trip <laughs> to meet me, maybe in a hotel or somewhere. Well, and said to me, I watch you on television. I really say, Lord, I really want to see if we are really making impact over there in Africa or really not. On television. So for sure people read, people write here all the time, you know, right? But I say, Lord, I really wanted to meet some real person who would tell me, I watch you on the television. Well, as we didn't fly on Saturday, no. we moved to a hotel in Port Harcourt, the city of Pastor George. Is there. And as we were there, most of the people that work in the hotel there, they came to me and said, We watch you on the television. Yesterday you were on TBN. We were all watching you here. It is you, it is you. <laughs> in all things give thanks somebody say hallelujah I mean I was so touched if we had left on Saturday I would have not heard that thing from this way for. <laughs> but you know they were telling me I mean several of them were telling me we, we watched you yesterday on Saturday here on the television on TV in Africa Lift your hand and pray with me that God anoint and use all the television ministry. And let's pray for supernatural providence for the work of God in 2020. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we come before your throne thanking you, blessing you, and praising you for what you are doing all over the world. Father, in all your mercies, we pray that, Lord, you supernaturally provide for the work of the ministry all that is in your heart for us to do and to accomplish. We hide them all in the blood of Jesus Christ, and we bind the forces of the wicked one. We unlock the finances in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, dear Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Wow. Are you a little bit happy or not? Am I speaking to sad people? <laughs> Hallelujah. Buya Dobri. Who is this guy, Kyle? 
Hablé chévere. Sí, es como yo, más es que tú, tú sabes. <risa> no fácil, pues va. Ajá. Ok, maybe is that what the age is some person? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ok. Praise the Lord. It's good to make a new year resolution to be coming to us. Yeah. It will help you a lot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, brethren, I don't think I'm really ready to preach too much. You know. All I wanted to do was just to be here this morning and say hello. Be there next All right. So, <laughs> but I want us to read something there in the book of Ephesians. I don't know if anybody's really hungry yet, you know. I really enjoyed the New Year message. I, I mean, I was, I it touched. I was still, I was watching that when children were coming from. I want to pick the children from school. I was so drawn to it, you know, and I was so blessed. And then the children come uh, banging the door. I said, I'm going I'm to get back to this. But I don't know about you. But join me to thank God for the word and the um, anointing that God pour upon us here continuously. Lord, we thank you so much for your word and, and anointing and the grace that you release upon us. You send your word, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the power that is in your word. We worship and submit ourselves to the authority and power of your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Chapter 2 of Ephesians says, And you had he quickened who we are dead in trespasses and sins. When in time past you walked, come to the cause of this world, come to the prince of the power of the air, that now walk in the children of disobedience. Among whom also we all had our lifestyle in time past in the loss of our flesh, from the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and we are by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Wow. And then verse 4, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, he loved us. Even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ by grace, you are saved. It has set, raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Here in the in the, our brochure. The book of Ephesians is possibly the most spiritual of all the epistles, laden with revelations of the exalted Savior, but also unveiling the exaltation of the believer. The born-again experience is here portrayed as the resurrection of the immortal soul, that is the human spirit. This human spirit is uh, in union with the risen, uh, resurrection and exalted Savior, and therefore seated with him in the heavenly places of, of, uh, of, of, of rule, authority, and dominion. Understanding our positioning in the heavenly places changes everything and gives us a height advantage against all the hosts of darkness. It is time we see from above and not from beneath. This is a vantage position. We are to enforce the rule and dominion of our heavenly father from this heavenly height. Our actual citizenship is in heaven. We are heavenly children of the heavenly father. Hallelujah. I was talking about focusing. Turning that batreko. For a good Get that right focus. Get your mind focused this year. Where do you want to live the year? 
Down or above? You have to decide where to live. Another year in the jumper? Another year in the pig pen? Another year in the valley? Or do you want to really take your position and sit where you sit? I am so sorry for the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's so lonely. Here you have all this table in the heavenly places. And all the cheers and of authority and power and dominion. Sit for every one of your children. And you are seated. But every chair is empty. Where are they? Uh, down there. <laughs> Instead of sitting on the throne of power and authority, all your children and down there eating crumbs and thinking like people from psychiatry. You have to, you have to tune up your mind. Come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. We have dwelt low so long. We have eaten with the pigs so long. We have taught like demons so long. God called us to sit with him in the heavenly places. About the Christmas dinner, or the New Year, I don't know. And the table is prepared and for all your family members. The, the banquet is prepared. And, and you are alone. Where are the children? They are picking things from the garbage dump there. That's how it is with God. We are the redeemed. We are the children that have, have saved and forgiven their sins and made them righteous and given them a seat in the heavenly places. None of them they are in Prague. They stick their brain in the jumper. They still think like the damned. The lost. Their mind is still full of filth. They can't come up and sit <laughs> on the seat prepared for them. So our Heavenly Father is lonely. He prepared a banquet and just prepared a table and chill. And he, want, he wanted a family a banquet. That nobody sitting there. Everybody is down there. Rolling in the mud. You can't, there's no one to communicate with. Nobody is worried. Where are they? Still in the pit. Come up, come up, come up. And take your seat in the place of God's glory. Hallelujah to Jesus. You who we are dead in sin. Destroyed by your own vanity. Lost. But he has quickened you. He has quickened you. He has given you life. Quickened you. Quickened. Made alive. Here in the Amplified it says. I don't know if Jesus can get it for us. And you, he made alive when you were dead. Slain by your trespass and sin. Vaše 
in which at one time you walked habitually, you were following the course and fashion of this world. We are under the sway of the tendency of this present age, following the prince of the power of the air. You were disobedient to, to and under the control of the demons that constantly walked in the sons of disobedience. Wow. Christ came down <laughs> to lift us up. All the price he paid. All, his, all the horrible price he paid was to elevate us. Where do you live? One more year in the pits? One more year in the valley? One more year talking like demons? Thinking like demons? Acting like demons? One more year bound? One more year imprisoned? Or would you take your place in the heavenly place? One more year running around in a desert place. Complaining and arguing and quarreling. One more year. God forbid. I wish somebody said, God forbid. I have lived down there for long. I'm going to rise and take my place with Christ in the heavenly place. The devil doesn't want you to get up. This world wants to hold you. Bound there in the mud. Take some dirt your brain. Every morning. When you can't think out of, out of the box. And the Lord is calling us. Come uh, higher. Come and take your place. It's, a, it's a, an exalted life. Jesus said to the Jewish people, I am from abode. You are from beneath. Your wisdom, your ideas, your manner of life, your culture and everything the pit. I'm from the heights. The Bible says, he that is from above, is above all. And there we read in there, chapter 2 of uh, Philippians. We read about the exaltation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let his mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in form of God, taught it not only to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of the glory of God the Father. When Christ died, we died with him. When he was buried, we are buried with him. When he rose, we rose with him. When he ascended, we ascended with him. If you are in Christ, if you are born again, if you say you are a Christian, that you are a child of God, that means you are seated with Christ. If you allow the culture of society to keep you bound. Your traditions, your family upbringing is meant to lock you down here. That is why Christianity doesn't benefit you nothing. Because the life you know is the life below. And that's not the Christian life. That's a religious life. It's a useless, it's demonic, it's from hell. A child of God is seated with Christ in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power. They believe that. Shake off the, the grave clots. Wear off that trash. Rise up and be a prince. Be a prince. Become a prince. This year, 
I'm not going to waste with the religious people. No. If you don't want to come up, stay where you are. You will not see me. We've been to the down too long. Trying to lift people up. The more you want to lift them up, the deeper they dig the hole and stick their head there. You want to get them out there. It's time to let them go. Christ came down. He did not stay down forever. It is time we get back to our position as the saints of God. We've been down too long trying to help people, trying to understand them, not try, not, not try to scare them. So, so, so they don't say, this is pushing you love your pit so much you worship your bondage I let go of you in Jesus name it's time to get up we've been down too long this is not a Christian life chasing rats and rabbits and cockroaches yeah. Pe people doesn't want, they have no vision they have no understanding of what it means to be a new creation to be born again to be a child of god we we'll spend time too long in the valley that if we're not very careful we will no more remember that we're actually from the heights that's our real position i told people years ago you know if you see me go down i want to rescue somebody they don't want to be rescued. Leave them there and go back to them. This is it's a dangerous thing. That's why the Bible says those, those who are in, born in the fire, who are filthy, you know, rescue with fear. But be careful so they don't draw you there. That's a force. It's like a law of gravity yeah it pulls you down the law of sin and death and bondage you want to pull want to keep you down in the pit the sinner the unbeliever is going down and down and down and down and down to the pit of hell a child of God rises higher and higher and higher and higher to the throne of God. Somebody say hallelujah. You are born again. You are a child of God. You are a new creation. Don't let people hold you in their pit. They don't want to leave. Let go of them. It is not sin. We've been trying to be humble and humble and humble. Run around, run around. You can hang around them so long until the devil holds you down there and you forget where you belong. You forget. The devil can use some people and some things like that. Just keep, keep you running around and running around and running around and running around and running around. And running around. Oh. This problem, that problem, this problem, that problem. That, that brother, run there, that one, sister, run there, that one, run there, that one, run there. Run, 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 run. Before you know it, you, you even forget that you actually belong from the up. And you, and you even forgot that uh, you're not entrapped in them. That's, that's what the devil does. He, he will use those people around to keep you down there. And you lose your authority and lose your power and lose your influence it is time to take your place and sit with christ in the heavenly places once in a while you can go push somebody else. but get back quickly get back quick 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 what are you doing down there Christ was exalted. And here in the book of Colossians, look at what it says. Is anybody here? 
Somebody said, I wish you stayed in Africa. That's a bad message. Spot me. Vijish. Vibo, Vijish. Let's have one person. <laughs> Zlatka. <Yeah>, golden. <laughs> golden Jenna. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Chapter 2. Uh, we shall find it for you here. But I'm glad anyway. But I'm so sorry. Jesus said, if you leave father and mother in the house and mansions, for the sake of the kingdom, I didn't leave all that. I left, I left Ananas. Ah. A mango. To be honest with you, I really miss it. <laughs> the, the Ananas was super. Uh, I I, so soup, I came here and ate ananas. I almost spit it. Oh, this is not ananas. So, <laughs> ninja ananas. Man. The ananas, I mean, full of. Very, I'm serious. I really miss ananas. I wish I'd bring it here. This is simple. It here is not food. So, ne eat long. All this ananas and mango. Man, it's even the chicken. It's tropical chicken. Very sweet chicken. It's only if they uh, just anyway. Uh, I, I need to order <laughs> real and then I really miss ananas. I was doing smoothie with it all the time. I didn't leave mansion or father or mother for that. But, I left, <laughs> I left, I left ananas. <laughs> I really miss the ananas. But I want also really, I, would, I want also pray for Ukraine. Ukraine is suffering too much. It's caught in the middle. Republican, Democrat. Republican, Democrat. U Ukraine is in the middle. Rus Russia in the west, Russia Ukraine in the middle, Ukraine, Iran and America, America boom, Ukraine, boom. we bind our spirit in the name of Jesus, this great nation, we lose it in the name of Jesus, it will no more be a victim of these powers, Lord we pray for your mercy over Ukraine in 2020. That this nation no more be a victim, no more be entrapped in the middle. In the name of Jesus, it is a Christian nation. Let your mercy, O oh God, intervene by your mighty power. In Jesus' name, Satan, we bind you in Ukraine. We break your power. We command you in the name of Jesus Christ, stay away from this nation. In the name of Jesus. Kaburiya Mashaka Bandere. What a madness going on in the world. Some, you know, some people caught in the middle. Colossians chapter 2. Hallelujah. And verse 2 have said. Buried with him in baptism, when also you are risen with him through the federal oppression of God who had raised him from the dead. Buried with him by baptism. That's why we baptize by immersion. That is what you, it means you identify with the burial of Christ, with the death and burial. And when you rise from that water, it's identified with his resurrection. We are risen with him. We are raised up with him. And we sit with him in the heavenly places. You can't accomplish much in this life being down below. 
Ovviamente. That's not your position. That's not your place. We were there once. Kept by sin and bondage. Kept by Satan. But Christ came and quickened us and made us alive and raised us up with him and gave us a place of sitting in the realm of the spirit. A place of authority and power. Somebody say hallelujah. And verse 4, 13 says, And you being that in your senses and sins and the of your flesh, had he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Augustine. That's already past tense. He made us alive with him. When he rose, we rose with him. We are in Christ. Christ is in us. The Lord Jesus said, In that day you shall know. And I am in you. You are in me. He is the head. We are the body. Do you keep your bo- head here? A cello valley. It will not be. It will be strange. A cello valley. A cello valley. A cello that's terrible. <laughs> he is the head. We are the body. Where the head is, that's where the body is. Can somebody say hallelujah? Think of these things. I don't know if it's true. Or it's a lie. Or the whole Bible is a lie. You cannot limit the truth of God. You cannot deal with life situations by sitting below. You must come up to where you are seated. God, God has given you a seat in the place of authority and dominion and influence. You must exercise dominion. You are called to rule. You are called to reign. You are called to have influence. You have to know where you are sitting. God has given you a sitting in the place of influence and power. And when you speak from that height, God says, yes, you are ruling. You are reigning with Christ Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah to Jesus. So come up, come up, come up. Don't stick your mind in the mud. Terrible blood. Chapter 1 of Ephesians. And verse 14 says. Verse 15 says. Wherefore I also have I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus. And love unto all the saints. Since not to give thanks for you. Make mention of you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of glory. May give unto you the spirit of wisdom. And revelation and knowledge of him. The eyes of your heart. Being enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. And what the riches of the glory of his saints. Heritage in the saints. Amen. And what is exceeding greatness of his power to us, what who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. And far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every that is named, not only in this war, but also now which is to come. And had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Which is his body, the fullness of him that filled all in all. Where do you pray from? From below? Where do you live your life from? Well, where are you seated? <laughs> Position is very important. Religion sits below. In the mud of the human reasoning and philosophy, psychology and knowledge and, and traditions. As we read yesterday, you know, uh, Christ came to redeem us from traditions of fathers. It's very, very important we understand that. And, and if we don't take our place in the heavenly places, 
You cannot expect much out of life. And don't expect to see God's glory and power. You must take your place. Chapter 1, 1 Peter. And verse, um, verse 18 says, For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Okay. Okay. Your biggest problem is not alcohol and people and porno. Look at it. You say, Neho, po. It is easy to be free from sin and bondage, you know. Is it? Christ already sets you free from that. But the traditions of fathers and mothers, the culture of your upbringing, the mindset of your village and your town and your mother, the way your people like you think, the way they see life that has been put into you from childhood. It is hard to break that. Break that. The traditions, the mindset, the culture of bondage. You are meant to be him, you are humble, you are just an ordinary person. So that means, who is your father? Who is your mother? What breast did you suck? So that means, so we can know what box to put you into. Hot catch. <laughs> so, you're here. Yeah, yeah are they? Pray with me. 2020. Father, in the name of Jesus, set me free from Shetaneho. Yes, Father. The mindset, the ideologies, the philosophy, the upbringing. The culture of bondage and fear and sin and hopelessness and depression and frustration and every demons attached to them. Every demons propagating and enforcing this bondage. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I break your power over my life in the name of Jesus. That's why the Peter was right, Paul was right in there. In Ephesians, you were held in bondage. Wherein in time past, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, this was now walking the children of disobedience. The demons, the evil spirits that establish these bondages and traditions and, and cultures and, and mindset and, and ideologies. There are demons that enforce them. They are called familiar spirits. They are from that family line. They influence every child in that family line. And when we are all a part of this culture, you are meant to be low and bound and down. This is how we think. This is how we live. This is how we behave. At the age of 10, we are like this. At the age of 12, we are like this. 18, we are like that. We marry like this. And we divorce like this. This is how we treat a wife. This is how we treat women. This is how we behave to foreigners. This is how we act to people who are different from us. This is, this is the body check. And we have been imprisoned in this bondage. And we can't seem to get out of it. You try, you try, you go to the cycle. We, we cannot think outside this culture. But Christ came to destroy it all. And bring us up out. So we can sit in the heavenly places. And manifest the culture of the kingdom of God. And live in that culture. 
in the tradition of heaven. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sometimes you wonder at yourself. What is wrong with me? I want to change. I want to stop all this. Things. This is not life. What, what is wrong with me? You seem to be imprisoned in some structure. You can't just shake it off. You want to get out of it? Something like pull it back? Culture. Tradition. Handed over. Mindset. Family fears. And shame and pain and traditions and, and mindsets. And there are demon powers that propagate them and enforce them. And just, and just sit on you like that. And you're going nowhere. Christ Jesus came to redeem us from this evil culture and traditions. So we can take our place in the heavenly places. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That culture of imprisonment. When you are 18, you go to prison for the first time. When you are 10, you watch pornography. And 12, you watch pornography. You, you smoke, you drink, you lie, you fight, you cheat. You, and that's the culture. This culture of bondage. In the name of Jesus. This mind of bondage. In the name of Jesus. And the demons propagating them. We bring the acts of God upon them. We destroy them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Not in 2020. Not in 2020. This is the year of the law. We will excel. We will leave as God's own children. In Jesus' name. We have been quickened in Christ Jesus by the power of God. And the Holy Ghost quicken your mind. And quicken your thinking. Quicken your reasoning. And your desires. And wake you up from slumber, from spell. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you wear off this grave cloth. A bondage. It is a curse. There's no life in it. Come out of that place. And take your place. In the heavenly. Holy of holies. Somebody say hallelujah to Jesus. Wow. Well give me a few more minutes. I think I already gave you so much. Let, listen. We have, you have one more week to pray your prayers, fast your fasting, eat your food. From next week, we're going to start our church ministry fast for the year. Get ready. So prepare. Mm -mm, somebody. <laughs> you child. <laughs> well, get ready. We're going to have a great year in God's presence. That is, somebody. <laughs> it's all your nice food now. Finish all your New Year and Christmas food. And start talking to your stomach. Say, we're going to be, we're going to be fasting soon. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yenom. So prepare yourself. <laughs> it's all your food now. Can have your kitchen and fridge. You know? <laughs> but it's, it's not any. It's not any hard fast at all. It's just morning till evening, morning till evening. See if you understand that. Okay, eat all your hamburger now before. <laughs> all right. See, so have a few more days. Hallelujah. Now look at some one one zero. Thank you, Jesus. This year is a year we must excel. This is not a year for struggle. No. It is a year to rule and reign. It is not a year we crawl and crawl. No, no. It is a year we take our position. 
and exercise rule. When you say in the name of Jesus, you are speaking from above and things change. It's not the year we struggle all by down here. No. No. We get to our position and we take our place in Jesus' name. Now, Psalm 110. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is this year. We take our place. And we, our enemies are smashed on our feet. We don't fight from below. We rule from above. In the name of Jesus. Things happen. Things change. Big things. Mighty things. Big miracles. No more survival. No more just trying to survive. Something big. We bore a hole in the darkness. In the name of Jesus, you rule, you reign. In Christ Jesus, God empower your word in your voice. When you speak, people listen, and things happen. You carry dominion everywhere you go. You become irresistible. They will say this one, no, 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 no. But when you come in, they say, well, we can't just tell this guy no. We don't know how to do that. This is your yes year. Yes, 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 in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, in Jesus' name. It's no more here to struggle and fight. Him. No, no. Come a little higher. And then force the rule. Sit on my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. We have fought enough. We have struggled enough. It's time to rule. It's time to reign. It's time to enforce the authority and the power of the risen Christ. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemy. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning, that has the dew of thy youth. Christ has called us and chosen us to rule, to reign. You know, in the world, people think, that evil rules. Wickedness rules. And that's how it looks like, you know. If you want to get something done, you know. Well, do some evil. Kill, steal, destroy. But that's not truth. God is the judge of all. Do you know what the rules? Righteousness. Light. God is a righteous judge. The devil is nothing. Demons are nothing. Witches and wizards, they are wasting their time. They, are, they have no power. In the light, they are nothing. God, they have no righteousness. You and I, we have the righteousness of the Son of God. Somebody say, I have the righteousness of the Son of God. Somebody say, hallelujah. We have the righteousness of the Son of God. Romans chapter 5. Wow. Verse 17 says, for if by one man's offense, death reign by one, much more they, which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Somebody say, hallelujah. We have received the gift of righteousness. Jesus gave us his righteousness. We are redeemed by his blood. Our faith is in him. Not in ourselves. Our confidence is, is in his blood. 
in his blood we receive righteousness. And by the power of his righteousness, we ready life in Jesus' name. We ready life. We ready in 2020. In the name of Jesus. For as he is, so are we in this world. We ran in righteousness. We ran in life. Turn up your mind. Pick, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. From the jumper. From the jumper. The low mind. The low mind. The slow soul. Flesh, carnal, sensual, wordless. Tune it, tune it. Fine tune your radio. Fine tune your mind. Fine tune it. Focus your light. Talk to yourself. Are you a child of God? Fine tune your mind. What are you doing down there? Why think like warm? Think like a new creation. Take your place and position. And enforce the rule of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. When we go down. We only came to rescue somebody. Don't stay there. You never go to visit somebody. You know? to, to advise somebody. You know? Pray for somebody. Encourage somebody. They open their box. They open there. You, you just have to keep yourself in the spirit. And when they empty all those trash, you say, well, but this is what the Bible says. This is what Jesus said. God said, God said this. God said, what is this? God, what God loves you. You want to help? Why don't you really understand what I mean? You know? Come down and stick your head in this mud with me. Mom, talk about depression. Now, do you want to stay there? If you're in the pit, why don't you lift your head now? Help! Somebody send you rope there. Hold it! Nah, come down here. If you love me, come down here. I love it as well. I send you the rope. Vidra! Vidra! Drush! 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 If you love me, come here. If you love me, smoke this. Drink this. Pff, die there. If you love me, let's go to a discotheque. Smoke this. Drink this. Wear this. I love you not to do that. This is when I was in Africa, you know. Yeah. A woman told me, if you love me, marry me. I said, I love you so much. That's why I don't want to marry you. But if I marry you, I'll kill you. Brother, I better stop. I better, I better stop. You know? <laughs> yeah. I love you so much. I don't want to marry you. Know? If I marry, I'll kill you. <laughs> anyway, bro, I better stop. But Africa got into my mind now. So. I know. Is anybody happy today? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chapter 3 of Colossians. <laughs> Why do you love somebody and then you're killing them? <laughs> 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 
That's how they didn't want to manage that woman. If I'm <laughs> and that was not a joke. Oh, it was a serious matter. Yeah. And I really told her, I love you so much. That's why I don't want to marry you because if I marry you, I'm going eh, to kill you. Well, if you kill me, then don't marry me then. So. Don't make anybody force anybody to marry you. It's not in the marrying you and killing you the next day. You know. If you love somebody, set them free. Why are you beating your wife all the time? Somebody said, Pastor, they didn't touch. They need to come and not with oil. Because that devil out of your head. Next day, mommy. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are Dobri. Call me Vare. Next day, mommy. Capro. Never saw. He's a kid. Chapter 3 of Colossians. If you didn't be risen with Christ, seek those which are above. We are Christed on the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, not affection, evil confession, and covenant, which is idolatry. Tell your neighbor, this year, I'm going up. I'm going up. Somebody say hallelujah. I'm going up. I'm going up. In the name of Jesus. I'm going up. That's where I belong. Hallelujah. I'm going up. Nothing will hold me down anymore. Nothing will hold me down anymore. I'm going up. I'm going up. If you want to stay down, enjoy it. But for me, I'm going up. A new day. A new season. Let's go up. Let's take our place in the heavenly places. We've run around these demons for a long time. They would like it like that, you know. We do hide and seek with them, you know. You, you kill on and on, jump up there. Eh? You know, just keep you going around, around, around. Just ignore. She move. Up. Up. And up. And up. Don't solve problems from below. Position yourself first. And then, and then. It's done. It's one minute. One minute. Just turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, 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 and then one word, it's finished. And don't keep your mind there, keep your mind up. You are a child of the king. This year, the lion will roar in your life and from your life. Nothing can conquer you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the, you will excel. The spirit of the living God is in your life. You are not an ordinary person. You are a child of the living God. This is not religion. This is the truth. The living God is your father. Christ is in you. You are chosen for great things. You will excel in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing can hold you down anymore. No fear. No frustration, no pain, no poverty can hold you down anymore. God wants his children up. God wants his children up. He wants you up. He wants you up. He wants you up. 
Abamale hetura mahaya. Stand up, please, and let's bless his name. God wants you up. God wants you up. Lift up your hands, all ye guests, be raised up, you everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. The King of Glory shall come in. Come in, King of Glory. Come in, King of Glory. Lead your sheep to the heights of glory. Any force that try to hold you down this year, I cast them in the name of Jesus. Any demons, any fear, any pain that try to hold you down this year, I cast them in the name of Jesus. Any habit, any demonic habit that try to hold you down this year, I cast them in the name of Jesus. Any man or woman, any human being that try to stand against you this year, to hinder you, to stop you, they are moved away now. Let them be moved out of your way in the name of Jesus. The breath of God moved them out of the way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, living God. Lift your hand with me and say, Father, we thank. We thank you. Father, we, here we come. Here we come, Father, to take our place before your presence. Here we come in Jesus' name to take our seat in the heavenly places of authority and victory and power and dominion. In the name of Jesus. And we rule over our enemies and we subdue them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Come on, talk to God right now. Tell him, talk to him right now. Say, Father, I don't want anything anymore to hold me down. I want to be who I am. I want to live as a child of God. I want to take my place in the presence of God. In the place of authority and dominion power. I come against everything in my life that try to hold me down. I come and remove that of my life. I receive the gift of righteousness. I receive the blood of Jesus. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. I receive forgiveness and cleansing for all my sins. And I take my place in the heavenly places in Jesus' name. I am anointed. I am called. God is my father. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ that gives me the strength. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Open your mind and say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Whatever I touch is blessed. Whatever I touch is blessed. Whatever I touch is blessed. I am blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. Glory. Come on, pray for somebody right now. And said, be blessed. Tell them, be blessed. Ostrava, be blessed. Jda, be blessed. Loni, be blessed. Bruno, be blessed. Slani, be blessed. Usti, be blessed. Templese, be blessed. Come on, lift your hand and bless all the brethren, all the churches and believers in Czech Republic, every pastor, every missionary, every church, every believer, receive the blessings of God. This is your year of glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the glory of the Father rest upon you. And the glory of God elevates you now to the heavenly heights. And keep you there by the power of his word. You are elevated. And you are established in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. You see the brightness of the day and the brightness of the glory of God. Joy like you never known before. Peace beyond comprehension. And the glory of God uphold your life in Jesus' name. Amen.